Hello guys and welcome to SVOR round 4 at China. Sadly, you've probably only got me tonight uh, because of LucasAid not having uh, a pad at the moment. So, but I think we've just got a second guy now actually. Include your audio, did. Um, yeah. So, do you know how this works for this league? Um, I mean, it's pretty simple. Just win, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but at the end of it, we do press conferences. Oh, we do like okay. press interviews. With I guess with the guys who get a podium, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so I better bring up this thing. Oh, and word of warning, if I mute my mic, it's because I'm having a vape. I've got to mute my mic when I vape. Right. <laughs> nope. Uh, we got... One, two, three, four... Ooh, despair's already on a lap. Excuse me, why is he in the throw? He hasn't been told to. I don't know where. Mm, whatever. Uh. God damn it. God damn it, ninjas. But damn it, Jaspers. I don't know who the next one was. Oh, Stanos. Oh, there's a horse in the gravel. What the hell? He's been disqualified from the session. That's interesting. But I think he won us kind of over. <laughs> Oh, that's a rip for Haas. Well, it looks like he'll be the only one... ...going out. And Daniels comes across the line with a 1 minute 30.7. And who's next? Oh, was the other Red Bull. 129.9 Don't know who the next one was I think it was Cole No, oh, it was the Alpha Tari of Killian Cole's already invalidated. Ganked the elbows fourth fastest. SV Ninjas is on lap in the Williams on the soft compound tyres. Well. And he's just absolutely yeeted it around that corner. <laughs> it's 
Oh, I just got kicked out for some reason. Can you send me an overload, please? Um, SV Ninja's had a bit of a sloppy start to the third set. He might have a compromised exit onto the back straight, but he is going to get a toe from, I believe... He's invalidated the... anyway. He's invalidated, ah. Yeah, he pull his up lap out the, the window. Who was it that left? Um, Kim, Kim, Kim is also on our lap. I think he's a bit off the pace. Not going to be competitive for pole. I mean, he might be in an opening back off lap but see what he's doing it's a 136.7 across the line it's not a hugely competitive lap time you'll be looking to set a more representative time maybe on this attempt we'll stay he goes through turn one turn two into turn three the downhill snail sort of uh, complex of corners which um you really have to be careful with the understeer on the entry and then uh, as you just reach the the, the tra track uh, traction is a big player into the hairpin of turn four he gets a good drive out into the long long uh, right uh, left hander sorry of turn five which turns into the right hander turn six oh he's getting catastrophic understeer uh, well, has his soft compound tires just been a bit overcooked and can't handle with the stresses and you think he's backed out of it now yes he has oh it's just it's a shame for kids, Boz, not yet able to set a truly competitive lap time in this session. She's still going for her anyway, so... She'll still end up going through because it's only 15, 16 drivers. Um, yeah. In, uh, and 15s needed for Q2, so... It doesn't set a um, positive note going to Q2 and what they can do. SV Richard. And the Ferrari is uh, just about to complete. Well, we'll go on to the back straight in the middle of the third sector. Looks a bit scruffy halfway through uh, turn 13. It could have compromised his run down the back straight. Um, which really hurts your lap time. It's a really important corner is turn 13. That you get a good exit, get a good drive down that straight into turn 13. And one more corner to go now to carry the speed. Do not exceed track limits, he's using way, um, well he's not using the track limits to the fullest, across the line is a 132.8, the safe banker, obviously like uh, previously mentioned, no one's being dropped out of this long session. As you get, long as you get a lap in, it's fine. Well even if you don't set a lap in, a lap in because Paper Stream's been disqualified. Um, yeah, everyone... they still, they still get, a, they still have to put a lap in though, for it to count. Ah, I see. We've had that problem before. Else, but on the lap at the moment. RSF 100 in the black Mercedes, he's just invalidated. Darren behind in Mercedes. And Skyline spun it. But turn 13 as well. Corner. Don't... Don't go full throttle, you bot. It's not looking promising for the horse today, isn't it? No. Nope. <laughs> Darren, that's a nice, really clean run. I'm really complaining, Nate, at Skyline, though. He's kind of new to the game. He only started lead racing last year. Yeah, all right. So... Ninjas go to P7. Darren Darren's for invalidated. A good, oh, is he invalidated? Yeah. You put your track and that on. It yeah, I've up. got it on, but sometimes, sometimes it can be glitches out. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah, pits. Not yet set a lap time, so he's still got that to do. Spare comes across the line. This is going to be a fairly decent lap time. It's going to be a 130.8. Uh, it's invalidated though, so we'll have to do it all again. Got to push him into the top five. Oh! Oh, he spun it. He spun it turn one. Who despairs? The, um... Despair, yeah. Jesus Christ. Just... <laughs> Jesus. That does not spell well for his balance. To lose it at such...
future. And I didn't see what exactly what happened if he put a wheel on the, the Astro or grass, but if he hadn't, he's just lost the car at one of the higher, uh, higher downforce corners of the circuit. It's not spelling good for the balance or confidence that you'll have in that race car. Phoenix is about to cross the line and improved by three tenths. Oh, is out on. He's out on a. Why is Nick Nicholas the TV in here? Apparently, mm. <laughs> what the hell? Do you do again? Well, oh, Amos from um, I think I may be invalidated this lap. I think he's on a cool down lap. I just got um yeah he's cooled down. You think he just set a faster lap time? He's got the delta from that. Hey boy in sector one. This has been held up slightly by the hass of skyline. Don't know skyline. Um, Cole retired, but it's in the pits. Oh, Cole's, yeah, Cole's retired. I like, set that time. I think he would have been yeah. safe at that time anyway. Can't see Matty Boy improving. Do you reckon anyone's going to get into the 128s? Oh, that's going to be. Um, no, I don't think so. Possible, but. I'm sitting with. I think I think it's possible, but yeah, that perfect lap. Yeah. Well, if you've not watched this lead before, all I'm gonna say is the top four AMS guys are quick. That's all I'm oh yeah, say. I know. I know some of these guys. Yeah, I've raced with some of these guys before. I think with Joe, uh, Bradford, Maddie, uh, Despair. So I know some of these guys are quick. Yeah. Killian's rapid, by the way. He's won, he's pretty much got a podium every race so far. Oh. That's consistency that's going to help him in a title charge. Especially when he's picking up podium. 70 him. points. Yeah. And laptop's going to die. Lovely. Thanks for having a good lap so far in the middle sector. Right, looks like he's just come out of turn 13 onto the back straight. Only two more corners to contend with as he opens DRS. Let's see, I've got a good feeling about this lap. He's currently sitting in P9 with a 134.1. He breaks nice and smoothly, no dramatics into the hairpin. Only one more corner to go. Let's see what he does. He uses a bit of curb on entry. Misses the apex slightly, but he can carry the speed with the, the wider turning radius and he holds Bruce. a very tight line to the line. It's a, it's a 133.9. It's, it is an improvement. But he's still a fair way oh. off of fighting for poetry. Season uh, two position. champions out on track in AMS Bradford. Oh, there's been a spinner. Oh and yeah, Skyline. the ass is spun again. Skyline is God damn it, Skyline. <laughs> but opening on those um, soft compound tyres, consistency will be his. Aim for the race. Brad locks up majorly into the into turn five or turn six. Here comes Hunt across the line. It's a one thirty one point five. Now. Bradford's just had a hairy moment. Yeah, he had a good first sector, but the second sector didn't look that great. So we could put SP7. Good time. Oh, Ninja. And there's a spun. worm spun. Connecting. Oh, 
Oh, and this bear is on his fast lap, setting a purple middle sector. This could be good. Second. That's T2. Eggfell's crash. <laughs> I don't know how many times for it to do that, to be fair. Ah, and that's an invalidation. Then invite again. Second. Which is going again, and he's invalidated again. Oh. oh, that is the end of Q1. Tis by the tire now. Yes, retire. Because <laughs> the time is just going to carry on. Hey, there we go. That is Q1. So, Joe setting the uh, the pace in the first part of qualifying. But, that top seven, in particular, is very close. 
You yeah, can't like really eight rule out between them each. <clears throat> like eight temps. Eight temps. The guy in first. From so one it's to all seven. to play for. The strategy in this next session we want to watch out for. Uh, what will people do? Well, it depends. But well, we I think most people weather. want to go for mediums. Yeah, I don't think softs stuff, are yeah. great race tyres, so it's going to be most no. people qualifying on the mediums, I think. I think Monaco is probably the only one where it's going to be decent. Mm. God damn it, I forgot sh uh, screenshot Q1. Oh, well. someone else probably did it anyway. So yeah, Joe's fitted the medium compound tyres. A few more of the drivers are switching over to that option now to say that pretty much everyone is. Is it to be expected? Spare, Brad, Ninjas, Let Joe, Matty Boy, Kisbo. Darren and Phoenix. Yeah. And let Joe's the first out on track. Then we got a Williams out. Who do these people opt to the set the, point. a banker out on the mediums? And not maybe opting for a hard tyre. Oh, tire the Red Bull of Thomas is going out on the soft. That's the first one, I think. And Killian as well. Killian out Killian on the soft. Well, yeah. That's let Joe out first, by the way. And that's not Thomas either, by the way. It's Thanos. Oh, it's Thanos. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I would be surprised to see if um, a few of the guys maybe outside the top 10 who were, uh, you know, two, two, three seconds off the pole time in Q1, maybe setting the, taking the risk on the on the soft to grab track position, I mean, even if they don't make it into Q3, just as to, um, to secure positions like P11, P12. But if you're sitting in 15, 14, it could be worth just going for that gamble for a, an optimal yeah. starting position. I know most people on the back are probably going to start on hards. Yeah. But, but I've always feel starting on the hards in these sort of races are a bit of a, a, bit of a risk. If you, if you get caught up in a first lap incident, which does happen in league racing, then you you have to pit, you have to change your front wing, and you have to change the tyres, and so you've thrown away that hard tyre, and it, it can really ruin your race from there on. At least it's not like F2, where if you pit before a lap, a certain lap, you have to do it. You again. have to pit again. Yeah. But you you basically you'd have to because the softs aren't going, the mediums, well definitely not the softs, are going to do the race distance. It's fifty percent, so it's like I don't know how much it is. Around I think here. it's thirty-eight 50%. laps or something, somewhere around that thirty-five to forty mark. I think it's probably around thirty-six. Thinking about and it. Joe just took too oh, much of that curve. Amos Phoenix in the Renault has um, he's hit the barrier hard on the medium compound run. He's only in one. So he wouldn't have taken too much out of that tyre, and Joe's been disqualified! Joe, the original pole sitter from Q1, has been disqualified from the session. Wow, one of the top and guys... And he was quite... He, he was looking he set, quite he set quick set the provisional a pole, pole in Q1. Yeah. And, uh, so that is a big upset. We've got a lot of work to do in the race if he wants to... Uh, Limit the damage done by that mistake. You don't want to see what he's just putting in the Discord then. <laughs> <laughs> I can oh. imagine. As I think the first of the, the, the lap times are going to be coming across the Ninjas. line. Yeah, Ninja will be first one to cut a lap time. It's going to be it's going to be off what was pole position before. But it's in a soft compound tyre, so the the gauntlet's been thrown with a 132.8. Let's see what a couple of the guys can do. Matty immediately bests it, but only by a small, small margin. Who is next to cross the line? It is the Mercedes, and I believe Hunt. No, it's not Hunt, it's the other Mercedes of Bradford. No, Brad's not um, in there either. Brad's not Bradford. They're still in the pits, oh. it was Skyline. 
Oh, Skylar, my color by my ass is not helpful. Phoenix. Phoenix My pits. color by my ass is... Uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix will pit because he hit the wall on his time lap. Thanos crosses the Thanos sets the line. line. He I think he had a hairy a banker, moment. Isn't it? Yeah, I think he had a hairy moment. Somewhere. I think he's backed off. Doesn't want to start on the um, soft compound tyre. He was up in that top seven, so I think that was more a bank collapse to get a tire on the board. Tuning across the line, two oh nine. You must have had a hairy moment as well. I think Cole has had one as well. Because that time is not going to be great. It's in fifth. No, one thirty eight. So He's Richard Williams wants to set a yeah competitive He's lap time, I lap. believe. He's yeah, but I think if um, the Stem and Gizbo are in laps, they're definitely off the pace. No, Despair's actually on a lap. Is he? From when I looked, he was yep. backed off significantly. Nope, he wrong. goes 131. No, wrong, he goes fastest with the 131 flat. Any racing Lovely point of call is in the gravel there. <laughs> he just went out. Phoenix is back out. Yeah, oh, and the racing point's gone round again. Just keeping out of the way of the, of the Ferrari of Richard, who's on a good lap at the moment going through turn five. See, indication of split times. First, first attempt, so he won't be. And Killian's just lost it as well. Coming out there, uh, second to last corner. All second to last corner, but heavy on the traction. Obviously, you can't do too uh, much. And Cole's lost God, it again. Just... He's not having a great time here. I think Richard's on for a very good lap time here. He's had a bit of a tank slapper out of turn 13, but it shouldn't cost him too much because it weren't that massive. I think um, if he can land somewhere in that 131, that should put him through into Q3. That's all we aim for here. Say 132s and 133s are probably the limit mm. to get well, out we of Q2. 130s were the most of the, the top 10 in Q1. So one thirty a 131 would look good. Oh, uh, Richard, 134.2. Oh. Um, you might want to be going out and having a second go at that later on. We've got some guys having... Aaron, starting a time lap. Oh, I forgot to mention, guys, as well. Let Joe and uh, let Joe will be serving a five-second penalty this weekend as well. That you got at Bahrain Ooh. for resetting okay. the track. Oh, keep an eye on that, by the way. If you see anyone do it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll do. Because it's that and retiring to track in this league is penalty worthy. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with the reset to track. Retire on track as one. well. And yeah, I'll retire off curves. Whatever. Kisbo, sorry. Not having a great time there. He's stuck in the gravel. Or oh, Darren's going to have a lovely slipstream. Well, retiring on track, if, you, if they get caught doing it, they get a warning. And if they get caught doing it three times, then they get a poly ban. Right. So Joe's so got Joe's a lot, had a lot one to warning. Do. Yeah, he, he's had one warning for that because he did it at Bahrain and he didn't race at uh, Vietnam because he was on holiday. So Darren comes across the line in second. second. Only just shy of two tenths off the pole man so or well, the provisional pole man so far. And that should comfortably see him through Q2, you, uh, Q3, so you'd imagine. Uh, Phoenix is just coming down the back straight on a time lap after Hunts first. that all oh, with um, before him. Skyline. Skyline has retired. He's been struggling so far in this qualifying session. He's in the pits. Phoenix. Hunt goes P5. Could be up there. Could be a couple of seconds off. Goes, goes P3. Third. I should put him through. Be a bit borderline. A bit borderline of one. We've got the season two champion out on track. 
And a lot of the guys who set banker laps, or set no laps even, have now left the pits on the medium compound tyres. So Skyline and Ninjas are the only ones on softs, but there's a guarantee Skyline won't make it out of Q2 anyway. Yeah. Ninjas. It's yet to go out. Be a bit of an interesting one to see what the, the top guys do who set the lap times on the mediums. Because do do they feel well for some people like Despair Darren Phoenix is a bit more marginal. You'd feel they're they're safe with those sort of lap times, but uh, Matty Boy and Hunt and Richard from, from from fourth down really with the track evolution. And with some of these drivers already setting bank attacks on another compound tyre, are they in danger of not being able to sit in the pit now for the rest of the session? I are think so, because Bedford just had a purple sector one, so he might be on a good lap here. Hmm. Exactly, and, and if they do have to go out on another run, they're, they're taking valuable life, time, uh, life, life out of that tyre. Bedford's gone purple on sector two as well. Clean exit out of turn 13. This is good looking like a very good lap from the Mercedes driver. The black Mercedes. Which I want them to keep the livery, but I guarantee they won't. Oh, there's no guarantee they're going to be good. in Formula 1 next season. Well, they are. They've signed the Concord Agreement, so... That's Killian, he's spun again. Oh, and Phoenix P3. Tied, and Bradford goes P3 with a 131.7. But this is what I mean, these guys coming out late in the session on the fresh medium compound tyres, the tracks evolved as well, and some of them have already had an iron on the softs. These guys are going to be Holes quick. four tenths up. Holes four tenths up at the moment. Exactly. This... The problem is, if Bradford runs out here late on the mediums, if he invalidates the lap and then runs out of fuel, you know, he could be out not setting a lap even. So you run, always run that risk. Hmm. You always run that risk, but that's why I'm amazed no one's... Because you can set your tyre, even if you know you're going for a medium start. Thanos goes P4. Star. Oh, and Cole's gone second. Cole's go Phoenix is in trouble. Richard just and set the purple sector two, by the way. Oh, and Kispo's actually gone out on, on a set of softs. Who, who else? Pulse back out as well. Just looking on at... Mediums. Who's in Matty trouble Boy's here? gone back out. So Killian's out on a lap. On, he's just started a flying lap on the mediums. Kispo's going to be going out on the softs. How's Gangster looking so far? He's actually he's down in his previous match. Richard's in No, Richard. He said he's marginally down. Also, that confirmed. Well, it's going to be close. Phoenix, sector one. Yeah. That's a good start. And actually, Ninjas isn't going out again. He won't have. To, surely, he won't have time. He's still in the pits. He's not going to have time to set another lap type. Set another lap in this session. Oh no, he's going out now with 1 minute 40. On another set of softs. Gonna be a bit tight. I on think time. this will be a fast lap from Killian. Four. <laughs> what a delta. Well, he's 14 seconds up on his previous best. He's still Oh, he's had an absolute heap load of traffic though there. That's, that could have cost him. But it's still a mightily impressive that, lap time. I think if he didn't have traffic four. in the final sector, that could have been our provisional pole sign. I 
I'm just going to go and see one. One and a half seconds His bow. Up. Well, Darren, Darren's retired, but these are just people retiring in the pit lane. His bow. Um, on the lap, he's improving. This shit gangster is improving. Right Gangster's still down in his personal best. Richard has improved again, just slightly, but he's still on P11. And third laps on his he's... mediums now. Oh, Rich is on third lap on the mediums. As and well. I think he slowed down, so that's oh, it's probably oh, not going to be enough for him. Kisbo's on P11. Up to P11, that's going to be good for him for um, in terms of getting that fresh tire choice and optimal track position compared to the midfield. I think that may be. Well, unless Ninja, see what Ninjas can do on those soft compound tyres. He did get a time lap in. Just going down to turn four now. He went purple in sector one. I mean, this is a. This is where the tyres make little less of a difference in this. With these fast set, uh, where the downforce is more of the deciding factor. But it'll be set to three where the traction zones, particularly at the final hair, been breaking as well. Traction through turn 13 is where the softer compound rubber, the fresher tyre life as well for the later runs, will make the difference. Nice clean exit car turns in beautifully. Didn't have to wait to get on throttle too long. Those so just two corners to go and a long little breather down the back straight. All the track under braking. Turns in nicely, rotates well, got a bit of a snap on the on power, but it shouldn't cost him too much. Into the f Where we go now. Great lists are blowing. Oh, he's, he's just slowed off. down. He's back. He wants off. to start on the mediums. I think he's done enough to get through. Then no else can improve? No. That should be it? Yeah. That should it be should it. have slowed down. So that's our top ten. Run out of fuel. There we go. This is run out of fuel. If you look, he's only gone like 70 miles an hour. Yeah, he's definitely he's 34 seconds off, off his best time. He did do an incredibly long run, three laps on those set of mediums. Just a. Uh, he will have um, another set of mediums, won't he? To use for the race. He should do, shouldn't yeah. he? Yeah. Hey. Uh. Okay. Uh, despair setting the. Hang on, what? No. Wait, what? Top same... nine. Whoa! What does it say Maddie's eliminated? <laughs> what? What's that? <laughs> I'm for right odd. here. Yeah. It also says that Medi's time is faster well. than the time that P9 did for me. I don't know. Yeah, it's saying, well, yeah, that's what I remember because Ninjas was just right on the edge, wasn't he? That is odd. Yeah. That is what? <laughs> Very strange. Yeah, get, wow, just look how tight that top. Well, top haters in particular, with Ninja's dropping back a little bit, but he set his time very early on in the session. I mean, a good shootout for ball position. I think oh, with okay, Joe I mean, out of the crashed. window. Oh, we only uh, have nine cars. That's interesting. Apparently, he crashed. Who did? Oh, um, Matty. Yeah. Who do you reckon's going to get pole? That's so what I was saying, it, it's difficult. Because you know Killian will be up there somewhere. Um, despair. Despair set good pace in Q2 on the mediums. It's more overcast now. Cole, Cole's good though, high on pace. I think it's going to be quite exciting because they're all very closely matched. So I think it's just who yeah. can get the best lap in. I think there's four, five, six guys that can get pole here, I think. From what I've seen so far. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's going to be very close and it a lot of it will come down to who can put the lap together at the moment as the racing point of I believe Cole on oh, Mercedes actually is what's Sanford slowing down yeah I know what he's doing cheeky little get <laughs> He's, he's waiting for the tow. Yep. Yep. Cheeky mugger. Cheeky little bugger. The tow. And also, he's going to be looking after those soft compound tyres very well on this app. Providing he can get the temps up at the end. And so he doesn't fly into turn one and tyres scream out for help. Do we know how powerful the tow is around this circuit? I have no clue the first time. Obviously it's going to be strong here, but you'd it have to be getting very close behind in that middle sector. And I would have thought the clear air would have been... would be a bit more advantageous. Especially through turn 13. Oh, that was a bit close from... The spares and hunt. I think Joe just crashed. The spares had the purple sector one. This game sometimes. Yeah, I just. Settings Never are, seen that glitch set, before. No, Only nine people make it the through. The settings are so broken, it's unreal. Normally I can invite someone through the actual like Xbox guide, but no, yeah. I have to stick it where I have to pause it and invite them normally. So what, what will Despair set the benchmark out? Oh, Joe's gone again. He's coming back. I'm just setting him like that. Bit of a lot. There's just one more corner to go in that Ferrari. What can he do? He set the fastest time in Q2. Can he carry forward the momentum into this final stage in qualifying? 129. The fastest time we've seen so far today. What can Cole do? Cole goes instantly. better. Darren goes to 113. Uh, not Hunt, it'll be Bradford, sorry, next to set a lap time. What's it going to be for the Mercedes driver? He's only four fast and one second away from Darren. Hunt's on his out lap. Uh, maybe. Um, oh, that might be Garris. Garris. Leave it to be Killen. Well, Killen will be. Renault's next. next up to set a lap. Oh, Phoenix. It was had a 1.8.1 Thanos 1.30.2 Thanos goes to 4 Half second off the pole man so far Killian, Killian about to cross the line This could be good, you know Massive tank slapper at the exit of the last the corner second. In the second position Ooh, Two tanks off Tenth off There's still time in that lap, definitely Just from the final corner And just like we call it, it's very close between second and fourth. Not a lot of time there. And we know Phoenix and Bradford have more time in their pockets. And what we've seen in the previous sessions, Hunt is just rounding the final uh, turn 13. He's going to get maybe a toe from team, his team mate. If team. he does, it's not going to be a very big one. Is that foul? There's his teammate. He is going to get a toe. Yeah. Oh, nice and choreographed, boys. We're in a party together, that's why. It is a team sport, even in the virtual world. And that is going to help him maybe even challenge the pole position if he can hold it together. It's not going to be pole position. He's seven. seven. One tenth better than his teammate. To be ninjas, the only driver not to have set a lap time. And um, he set two laps on the good burn on those softs in Q1, so maybe he's just holding out and doing one, one dual die uh, dash. 
the last few minutes. They were on cooldown laps. Yeah. Oh! Or in laps rather. I have to s it's, it's really is, it's difficult to show. Uh, cool, who, who oh. is going to snatch pole here? Ninja's out. Yeah, Ninja did track to himself. Bit of a, an F2 strategy. <laughs> Go out in the, uh, in the lull. Why is he going so slow though? Items down. It does have it does have a difference game what I've experienced and he's in speed up for the high downforce corners to supply a bit of a load but not with much he is cruising. Whilst Boston's going out, Bird and Cole, a bit of an underdog through Q1, Q2. Wasn't, I, can't, I don't think he was. Uh, he was in the top 10, top 5 definitely, but he looked a bit more of a. Didn't look to me anyway as if he was going to be the main one challenging for pole position, but he's really come true where it matters. Setting the pace so far, but it is very close. Very close between the top three, which we love to see. About two tenths in total, isn't it? Yeah, not even uh, just over two and a half, uh, one and a half tenths. Okay, so as Ninjas now set starts his flying lap, as in the Mercedes, if I think uh, Bradford actually leaves the pit lane. still as uh, Ninja enters and exits now, turn four. So the Mercedes has come out as well? Yeah, both Mercedes going with maybe trying to uh, think about... Uh, they've got a bit of a gap if they want to choreograph a, a tub again. Ninja Ely go might through. be a strong one for this, for towing. Ely's going to be a strong tow one. Oh yeah, definitely. Right, Ninja just three more corners to go. Oh, and he's oh, and the car looks difficult to drive. First two seconds was... were good. They could put him around P5, P6 here. He's lost a First, lot of time in turn 13. Lost a lot of time in turn 13. That car is not very balanced. It's not. It's not stable enough at the rear. I was always trying to swing round on him. You see it again, it just steps out a little bit. What's it going to be? It's P6. P6. That car is not looking nice. You might want a bit more oversteer for the absolute lap time, but you want a rear end that you can slide out again. You, just, you want to have a car that, a rear end that you can rely on in the race as well. Because the tyres aren't going to be one or two laps old in the race. They're going to get old, they're going to lose their grip. And if you've got a really snappy, oversteery car, you're going to be more likely to spin and, and lose it's down on hand his over first fist. Sector. It's not looking good for him so far. Mm, bad for Always oh, a bit wide there. No, he needs a valid. Yeah, he's down a double time by tenth anyway. Sadie's pair seem to be struggling. It seems. 
Who will be next? Just that lap, I believe it's Thanos. He'll be. He's on the out lap, but he'll be first to start the time. Lap. Ninja Redford goes in a pit, Bradford. so that's his quality gone. Yeah, I think he's he's retired, he's, he's throwing it throwing the towel in. Thanos starts his time lap now in the red one. One thirty point two actually on the out lap. Oh, nice, nice turn one. And was turning two two at that point, isn't it? Little looking up the hill. The breaking zone for oh, turn four. Oh, that's a good first sector. Hard. Very good first sector. Now once again, I love this sector of this track. Cole is two tenths up on his time as well. He's looking Cole. strong. They're actually practicing purple first sector. Cole's improving though, see what Despair can do when he crosses that. That's two there. turns down on his time. Oh, and Despair validates. Oh, Despair's just validated. And Phoenix, Phoenix has had an off. And Hutch Jr. just lost, nearly just lost it. So, Thanos is up pit. on his time. Um, Cole is also, I believe, up on his time. Cole could be six to be nine. Unless set. Thanos can pull something out of the bag in the final sector, he's got three tenths to find. It's a big deal, but it's not completely out of the window. Oh, he slides a bit there. Slides a bit, carries his speed, and he loses time in the final sector. Cole will be next across the line. It's going to be improving by oh, three tenths. He improves. Wow. That is a good effort. Can Killian, his nearest competitor, um, and only really other opponent apart from Darren. Do anything about Darren it. Goes P2. The last, uh, Darren goes P2. Three tenths off. Killian locks up into the vinyl hairpin. What can he do? He keeps it all together to the line. Goes P2. P2. But it's only by less than a tenth of a second. Wow, that's close. And Phoenix, the last attempt, has to settle for P7 to start the race. Oh, he did it just to retire now. That lockup cost Killian Pole, you know. That's what did it. Locked up into the final hairpin. Um, hairpin. We didn't lose him much time, but it's just as smaller margins as it was. It's, it's those small mistakes that make all the difference. <laughs> <laughs> really, Killian? <laughs> Yeah, that's four races in a row where an AMS driver has been on pole. Yeah, they seem to be quite dominant here. Having yep. four cars in the top five. Ninjas retire. Thank you. Alright, that's qualifying three. We've got Cole on pole. Killian in second, and then Darren in third, with Despair in fourth, Thanos in fifth, Ninjas in uh, sixth, Phoenix in seventh, and Hunt and Bradford in P8 and P9. And I've got a moth in my room, lovely. I mean, it's, this is going to be a good race. It really is, especially for the... When you've, when you've got the top five so, so close as it is. And, and Phoenix, we, we saw in the other sessions, that lap time isn't quite representative of what he has. We could be in for a real, real good fight for the win here. And, well, these guys are all starting on mediums. To see what everyone else can start on further back, whether anyone takes the gamble starting on the hards. And, and see where that sort of material is. Because 
you know, if someone starts on the hard, they can really interfere with that with that lead battle, especially when the pit stop phases open up, uh, with people dropping into the pit windows. Really could play a part in this race. We've well, got Joe in P15 a... as well, who was the fastest in Q1, so he might be a mm. bit of a threat He's as well. in the lobby. Oh, well, never mind. Never mind me then. Oh yeah, okay, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Can man just join before the race? I think it's too late now when you get to the... Oh, he's oh, already he's joined. He hasn't shown up on the um, waiting players list, so I just been informed by dis by despair that you invalidated a one twenty nine four. Ooh. Yeah, he was two times up on a sector one before he invalidated, so it was a good lap. But would it, would it have been enough though? Because pole was around two times up as well. I mean, it would no, have, it would have put him, that lap would have put him P two or P three, I think, something like that. It could have been put him on pole then, because it was less than a tenth between the top two. Yeah. God damn it, Killigan. Uh, so look, everyone's decided to start on mediums, by the way, except Paper Stream, who's starting on hards. Oh, I think Richard's changed to hards now as well. Yes, he has. Oh, is this all on a race director? <clears throat> yeah, well, if our paper stream right at the back, why not? Got nothing to lose going into the race. Yeah. Oh, if you're wondering, we're going at 9.02, just so you know. We always give them a five-minute break before the race starts. Oh, and um, actually, Richard. The Skyline, Skyline as well. As well. The Three guys now. And Skyline, I said this for qualifying, it's just going to be consistency he's going to be searching for. Well, struggling to keep it on the black stuff and qualifying for be consistent. And on that alternative strategy, it could just pay out well for him in the long run. Or keep out of trouble critically as well. God damn it, Ramsey. Um, we're off for any go. And um, we're off.
Amos Cole leads the pack. I don't know who, who is going to win this race. Uh, you could say anyone in that top four would be a sensible shout. And I wouldn't disclose out Thanos or, or Phoenix just yet. See what happens. I mean, it'd be, it's more tricky for them. But you never know what can happen in the race. Yeah, you could always get a lucky safety car or something going for you, so... Or even the top four coming together. Yeah. <laughs> the, and there's the Darren already gone off. <laughs> Might have been on the grass there. This is AI. Oh. The other one to watch out for will be Joe for sight from the back. Obviously, we know, we know he has He's not actually good in pace. here at the moment, by the way. Is he not? Uh, is that just AI? Try to get him back in. Yeah. Well, he says he's disconnected if you look at Paper Street's point of view. Mm. Well, if he does get in and he has his connection hard up for a bit, could be, he could be up for a charge through the field. Obviously, like he says, he's got like a five-second penalty if he does get going. Who can contend with. But I... Yeah. Well, I'd say if he had, if he had that... Um, Five second penalty, would you go onto the hards and then hope for a safety car? Which sort of mitigates the. Oh no! I don't know how you got the. He got, the, he got it know, from. Actual five seconds down to the end, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Obviously, you can't pay a stop there anyway during the uh, safety car, so. No. Everyone lines up on the grid. Up to apparently. Got five red lights and the Chinese Grand Prix is a go. And that's a good start from Kill uh, Killian. Takes the lead off the start from Cole, who slots into second, and the Red Bull! The Red Bull! The spare's gone round! What's happened here? No, I think okay, we're back. Uh, it's because Joe's dingied. It will reset yeah. the thing in a minute. <laughs> See? Yeah, it's like, there we go. There we go. All the cars went ghosted for me, and I thought I disconnected for a second. Yeah. But we've got, well. we've got action. Darren's had a bit of a, a pull. Darren's been pushed off. He's gone wide at turn five, and he's losing positions. Hand over fist. He's down in P9, and he seems to have stabilised there for the time being. Wow, it's hectic in this race. And Thanos, the big winner, oh, is third. Just saying. <laughs> Darren, Darren's really struggling for momentum. Ba um, Matty boy is all over him. Joe's AI is actually making. Oh, and that's Williams um, that's gone. Gareth. That's, that's, oh, Ninja's that's out. That's Gareth gone. And that's a safety car. Oh. Safety car. Safety car. Safety car. That's an interesting one because you might see some people pit here. Going on a different strategy. Hmm. I. Who? Who? Get the tires. I mean, I could see McLaren all the way back, maybe trying something different. I don't think the guys in front are going to go in the pits, but no, no, or anyone someone on the maybe going to definitely use a gangster owl. <clears throat> there is a Mercedes in the pits. The red... Racing oh, point so of view. You guys going in? McLaren pits. Matt, you're going to gamble on taking the hards to the end. You no, Hunt goes on the mediums. McLaren as well. Mediums? <clears throat> oh, these guys might have damage. The Darren goes on obviously the went off track. And gets a new wing as well, so something might have happened there. We've got a new wing. 
Yeah, I think these guys might have had damage. I don't know why we can go into the hards and just go for that ultimate strategy. He was served his five second time penalty as well. Who? Rick. Thanks to Alpha. I don't know, you could do it under safety car. <laughs> in a pit stop, you can. You can't serve your drive through in a, under the safety car. Yeah, but you still lose less time under a safety car, wouldn't you? Relative. So he's actually paid a cheap penalty there, and he's not going to lose any track position because he's just going to bunch up with the pack anyway. Onto yeah. the hard compound that, tires, like I said. That two is probably going to be to come up. So Killian getting the best start at the front, jumps AMS Cole, but obviously still a long way to go. They kept it clean. Uh, Thanos, a really good start for him. Starting P5 up to P3 now. A uh, brilliant start, got the jump on the spare, and um, da -da -da, what's his name? Darren. So he does have good race pace. Now he's, now he's caught, been able to bunt back up with Cole and Killian. Could really be in a shout of a victory now. The spare had a bit of a, I think he um, had a bit of a tank slap, oh, and missed the spin. In turn one, but yeah, good pace in qualifying. Joe's back in the lobby now. Joe's back in the lobby. And he's actually in P8. P8. A massive winner for P15 on the grid. And not actually have raced a single lap himself yet. Another note from the pit stops, Matty Boy also went on to the hard compound tyre. Strategy. Obviously the, pit, uh, the safety car means that fuel, anyone who's in the fuel of the car or a bit more marginal of fuel, it isn't a problem. They can save it up, and recharge the batteries as well. And um, oh, um, yeah, will charge or more of a charge, especially on fuel. You use those engine modes that you may even might have had to. Uh, be a bit more conservative with. Or well, now safety car at the end in at the end of this lap. Killian becomes the de facto safety car now as he backs up the pack. Um keep an eye on Skyline by the way. Just been informed by Darren that he's lagging. A bit jumpy on my end. Yeah. yeah. Not too major at the moment. Oh, Hunt's actually overtaken Darren. I don't nah, know if Darren went spun. too slowly. He spun. Oh, he spun. He spun. Yeah. And I think someone and lost a bit of a wing there. Yeah, gangsta. Darren might have gone Ow, into yeah. the back of Hunt. No, it was Gangsta Al. Yeah, I think it's a Richard oh. and Gangsta Al that collided there. And anyway, we get going again right? now. Can't overtake until the check and flag in. Killian has absolutely bolted. 1.1 seconds already ahead of the racing point behind him. Despair, despair. Despair getting a really good run into turn two. Now turn three. Can you think about a move? Into turn four as a gangster peels off into the pit lane. Maddie and Richard go side by side right now, and it looks like Maddie has not got a full wing again. He might be in trouble here. Yeah, he has, he's got a left end plate missing. Oh, and he just pitted for the hards as well. Like I said at the start, you go on to the hards, you've got to keep out of trouble because you, if you pit again, you burn that tyre. 
despair is really keeping um, Thanos honest here. Three attempts behind. Uh, Thanos obviously no DOS for any of the guys, but he wouldn't have it anyway if it was activated. Joe gets past Kid's boss for seventh position. So uh, Joe is making a charge up. He's up into seventh. He's only 1.3 seconds behind Bradford. And he is eager to make amends for a poor qualifying. Thanos got a really good exit out of turn 13. He's pulled away three temps to despair down the back straight. Oh, and despair actually locks up. They must kill him with the fastest lap of the race. Despair's got a good run here. Not going to be close enough on this occasion, but. When when dear, he's got so much speed into these first Matty few boy corners, picks. does that Ferrari? Yeah, it'd be the damage, won't it? Darren um, overtakes Paper Stream for tenth position. Darren Despair's gonna have to make the move into turn one or turn two, where he's strongest, because Thanos is getting such a good exit out of turn 13. He's sort of ruling out possibility. He's got the to make a dive bomb speed into... as well, by the looks of it. Yeah. Have a look at how he gains. First, yeah, sort of helping him here. But it's his turn for. Oh, he's had a big moment. He almost collided. He goes so quickly. Um, that could have not. Was well, definitely not Thanos' rhythm, but has it just put. To spare him off, he has a bit of a snap in turn 12. See what he does, he's actually dropped back massively. Thanos gets a beautiful exit. Oh, and Phoenix, Phoenix is pressuring to spare. The spare is not looking ahead, he's looking in his mirrors. There's actually, they go side by side with the Red Bull, uh, the, the Renault and the Ferrari. And Phoenix looks to have, he has the inside line, but looks to have the better. Despair locks up again. The Renault oh. pushes the, the Ferrari man up wide, but he comes back on the inside, has the inside of the final corner. They're still side by side. The, Ren, uh, the Renault backs out, thinks better on it. DNS is activated, he has a huge tank slap and loses loads of time. Bradford, he might get Bradford, Bradford is going to the inside into the first corner. Joe's the fastest lap in the Red Bull. Bradford sweeps through into uh, fifth position. Wow, what sort of some brilliant, brilliant racing just then. I think wow, we might get some clips involving Despair and Phoenix at the end of the race. Because that was a bit questionable from Despair's. Let's be honest. Which bit is questionable? Because I, I thought that was all hard, fair racing. In my humble opinion. left in no room. He left him yeah, no room he, coming out of the final corner. He's the inside line. And it, Joe's disconnected again, I think. Yep. It's a shame he just set the fastest lap and would have been in with the battle. The interval times say goodbye. So, Phoenix actually, having had a huge tank slap out the final corner. He's in the toe once again of the Mercedes of Bradford. Not going to be close enough on this occasion to have a sniff into the hairpin. Despair's caught back up to... Oh, I say that! It's a huge dive bomb! Huge dive bomb from Phoenix. Straight up the inside, but he's overcooked. He's gone deep. That's given Bradford the opportunity to come back, but you're never going to go around the outside there. She already know. Hey, Hearts of Skyline spun as well in turn 13. Oh, and Phoenix has got DRS as well. Uh, Phoenix is Phoenix got DRS. Oh, look at that! Let look at the Phoenix. turning, just so pointy. Really. Joe's retired from the session. Uh, just unable to have the internet connection hold up for the main for the duration of the race. The Phoenix disposes of Bradford. Three seconds now behind the spare. That's how much time you lose battling like that. I think he's got the pace over Bradford. He's pulling away now in the first sector, heading into the second sector now. Um, despair now. Heading, well, he's, he's just, he's instant. 
Oh, words out. Thanos is so strong at this section of track. So, so strong. But obviously, um, the spare will have the aid of DRS to help him out close that gap once more. Five times back, I said this last time, he's had to be an audacious lunge. So do he locks up again into that hairpin? So a small lock up. Not ideal. Four times back, and he's a brilliant run if he wants to challenge him to turn two, and he's actually got a good exit there. DRS slipstream once again, but he's not making the gains he needs to do if he wants to overtake that car ahead of him. I also did a good Mate, job in saving up the battery here, because he nearly has 70% left for the spare, only has 16. So, mm. might be able to pull away on the straight again, that overtake. I, I can't, Thanos is, is doing what he's being, what I describe as fast at the right points of the track, which is turn 13 in the final corner, onto those long yeah. straights where. If you get the exit, it becomes very difficult for the car behind to pull alongside and, and overtake. Because despair is easily faster through most of sector one, particularly turn two, turn uh, one, one and two. You can see that visibly how much he closes in on turning. But he's unable to do anything heading in into the major overtaking zones of the circuit. Actually, um, Cole's actually closed within just within DRS range of the leader. Cole's DRS got DRS. Could be a battle for Lee brewing up. Cole's really come alive in this stage of the race. Killian locks up slightly into the into the hairpin. Go back to despair and Thanos. Similar sort of gap again. Cole is trying to gain on Killian. Despair's had a brilliant run, had to interrupt, but Despair's got a brilliant run. DRS, he's two tenths back, he's still too far back. It doesn't have the move into turn anymore. one. Ooh! Oh, and they just touch. You know what? I reckon Despair can sniff an opportunity there. That was almost to Carl's whip from the inside. He's hunting for his first podium this mm. season. Bahrain, he had to retire due to connection issues. Um, but Vietnam, he came back with a, with a strong performance. On back to the battle of the lead. Cole is, is chipping away at that lead. Now seven temps down from Killian. Um, three temps in the last couple of laps. He's got DRS once again, obviously. Killian actually feels the need to go defensive. He's breaking the toe, swerving a bit. He's made that one move. He has to stay there now. He's a little bit again, which is a bit naughty, but he's so far ahead that it's not really anything to worry about. The spares drop back as well. The spare losing time on this lap. Cole is looking very quick. Cole is looking extremely quick at this stage of the race. I just don't know how much how much energy he's using though. They're both on about the same energy right now. In, uh, okay. Both on 40%. This is, There's no this difference is, to him. This is real pace here that Cole is showing at this stage in the race. Clearly got better with the tyres right now. It might be the medium tyres starting, uh, starting to drop off because if I can remember right, Kilian spun in Q2 with the medium tyres, the ones he qualified on. Mm. So his tyres yeah. might, might be a bit more done. Pardon me. And oh. if he's spun it, just hints that maybe Cole, Cole might have, have or oh, Kitty might just have a bit more of a snappy setup. And that's obviously going to be confidence in the car deteriorates as the tyre condition gets worse with those sort of cars. Yeah. I think he's running no traction as well. Yeah. Because Cole just looks absolutely splendid at the moment. There's quite a few in here that run no traction. Hunt, Brad, 
Phoenix, Thanos, Cole and Killian, I think, all run no traction. All lock up there, but nothing major. Oh, he's... You, got, you get the sense that the move is coming soon. But just where? Where is it going to happen? The spare pits. Oh, someone pits. The spare pits. Might be smarty if you can't it. get past and thinks he can go faster. Yeah, I was about to say Brad that. gets a three second time penalty, so it's down as Darren. Yeah, so Despair clearly going for the undercut attempt. I don't blame him actually, he was... He is being held up by Thanos. Thanos will have to respond, surely. And then on this lap... Keeping an eye on Thanos just to see whether he does pit at the end of this lap and obviously where he will filter out to. And uh, the leader at the top is getting responded and starting to open up that gap once again. He's found a rhythm. He's, he's almost broken out of DRS range again, but obviously that's decreasing now. Are they heading to turn one down that DRS straight? So Thanos comes around the final hairpin, the last corner before the Killian pit pits. Ends. Killian pits. So does Cole. So does the battle Cole. The pit lane. And Despair just did a Thanos personal pit as well. too, so he's getting time as well. Despair's now getting the Despair has got teammate traffic. as well. Despair has got traffic. It's his teammate. Bradley Surely is in P1 at the way. Yeah, Brad will be in P1. Brad's in P1, but where would, where's Despair in all this? Despair's coming come out the final ahead. corner now. Not He's close. not going to be ahead of Killian or or um, Cole, but where is he going to be in relation to the Red Bull? Ooh. He's jumped the Red Bull. It's a massive yes. overcut, undercut on the Red Bull. He's got his teammate between him as well. Yeah. That might help a massive look. It's the also a big, big gap up. for the fact that just the, one and yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Nearly two seconds. Well, that is a typical sort of undercut sort of region for one lap. Darren is actually all over the back of Bradford. Both of these guys pushing. Darren, two laps fresher tyres. Oh, and there's a hard Still alive. That's Skyline. Skyline's fine. Turn your overtake off as well. So, yeah, <laughs> Darren on two lap fresher tyres. Obviously, he pitted in the safety car. And he's going to have a really good opportunity in the next couple of laps, you'd say, to get past that Mercedes. Both lock up slightly. I'm absolutely putting the power Brad firmly Pitts. to the floor as Thanos gets past um, Richard as Bradford pits. Darren continues. Maybe for another two Brad laps continues. before making his pit stop, as you'd expect the same for Hunt. Brad going on hearts. And Bradford has come slotted out quite nicely, actually. He's got four seconds to Richard in front, which he shouldn't really be getting in his way too much, you would have thought. Killian though, Killian has actually caught uh, Hunt and Darren, who haven't pit yet. So this, this is important for him in this stage of the race. He's got a two second um, gap to the net second position man of Cole. It's going to be very important for, um, for Killian to get past these slubber cars as quickly as possible because every yeah, second kidding. he spends behind these guys yeah. he loses time. Spares with a three second time penalty. He's already lost half a second there stuck behind the Mercedes. Exactly. They needs to get by quick. I think and he's gonna do that with DRS now. This corner. 
Obviously the same will apply to Cobb. Look at the Mercedes pull away actually. But before DRS, the Mercedes got good straight line speed. But Killian Breeze is passed into DRS. Oh! <laughs> that was very close. Very, very close. Now Cole will be having his fingers crossed that these guys will pit before he catches them. But you would have thought they were he's gonna catch them on this lap. Darren's been pretty well to stay ahead. But ten seconds. I also lead. don't think these guys don't need to pit right now, because those were the guys that pit behind the safety car, so they are on fresh me uh, fresher mediums right now. They yeah. could probably do a well, few more laps. People... I think Darren's already pit. Yeah, yeah Darren's already pit, so... Yeah, he pit it by the safety car, yeah. He might pit. Part. He might pit like... soft towards the end. And be a long, long stint on the media, because we've done 11 laps on them. 12 at the end of this one. And we've seen most people do 12 laps on the, on the mediums, and then peel into the pits, so... Matty Boyle with a three-second time penalty. Uh, Cole's caught up to Hunt and uh, he's losing a lot of time behind that Mercedes and he's actually got almost a three second gap now to kill him. Caught him in the middle sector where it's really costly. It's going to be critical for him that he does him into the hairpin which he looks like he's going to do with that closing speed. He's got... It wasn't as clean a move and actually Mercedes holding out a little bit, but it's to no avail. And uh, Darren, Darren pit. Pit. I expect to see Hunt pit now. Hunt stays out. Darren the hard. That's right there. So, uh, Richard pits as well. Bradford, I think, was the nearest competitor to Darren, who gets a nice undercut on the McLaren driver. Comes out right behind, ahead of Phoenix. Phoenix. Darren, this is a good recovery from Darren. And he's got, well, I say. Well, you do, it's really down from the oar after that off on the first lap. Hits under the safety car, and um, gone long on that first stint, and it's really worked out for him. He's got the fresh tyres, hards now. Seventh position, genuine. Well, actually, no, he's actually going to be uh, sixth position on trap, because. Hunt has still got to pit. Look at him, he's, he's gaining on Bradford. Oh, Bradford had a bad Darren is really out of really catching on Bradford. Wow, what a middle sector! You know, he lost the car there. Driver. This, is, this is a monster middle sector into the third. He's got DRF, he's got close enough. He goes to the outside, he breaks hard. Supreme oh. confidence as they almost come together. Still <laughs> side by side, are they? Going into the final corner, and Darren has made the move stick. Spares is caught up to Hunt, by the way. Yeah, he's stuck behind the Mercedes now, so he's gonna. I need to do a quick yeah, move. Pass. Oh, he's if you're stuck behind that car, you'll lose a lot in sector two. Still can't do it. Switch back. He switches oh, back. He what a move, move by the Spares. Yeah, brilliant move. That. Uh, Ooh. A bit wide. Yep. Insane. He looked like Hunter almost had a sniff at going back at him. <laughs> Hunter's Hunter's really stretching out that stint, isn't he? Dan Oss is catching up to this lot now as well. Yeah. Buddy Boy's in the pits again, that's his third pit stop today. So, Hunter's already made one stop in this race. Um, under the safety car, I'm presuming. 
On onto the mediums. What, what do we think his strategy is going to be? I think he might actually go in the soft. I think he would be his one of the biggest times. I don't know how he started off. He started on the mediums. Tens, he started on think. mediums. Never look. Um, yeah, he's done two Yeah, he started on the mediums. Do we reckon he's stretching it out for the softs? I think so. Ooh. Maybe hope for a safety car or something. Oh, just space. He can get a safety car and go on the soft. Work out brilliantly for him. Darren's actually closed back up on. Uh, Bradford, sorry. He's closed back up on Darren in the, for the laps. Sort of gap, sort of ebbing and flowing between that like, eight tenths to a second by the mark. The gap between Kilian and Cole is getting closer as well. Cole half a second quicker in their last lap. So it could be interesting again, battle for the lead. Could be interesting. Cole's had a good pace. Amy lost out the way he did um, in traffic. That is, that is a part of racing. Yeah, he seemed to be quicker at the end, so maybe he can make the tyres last longer. Hmm. That could be interesting one to see at the end. Maybe can close the gap there. Anos becomes the next driver to counter the Mercedes. Definitely going to get him. This is going to work out nicely for Fanos. He's going to pass him shortly into turn one. Uh, that Mercedes has such good straight line speed. Oh, who's that right up behind? Is it Richard? That's, that's despair. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah. Sorry. But despair must have had an off. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm sure to spare Undercut. Thanos. Yeah, because he was ahead. We were literally just yeah. boarding his, his overtaken. He was in third. He was in. He was on a podium at one time. At one point. Yeah, he were. I'm sure he was. But I don't know what's happened to him there. But he's, he's dropped behind Thanos now. He's just got ahead back of Hunt, but got work to do. Ooh! And that's oh, gangsters gangster out. Gangster out. Just be virtual safety car. Oh, and it's happened at the wrong point for, for Hunt. Hunt's going to be hoping that this this safety car, this virtual safety car, can last just long enough so he can get round to the pit. Oh Ten my laps. God! How the hell has he lost it there? Where has he lost it? In turn 13, he's standing in the middle of the park there. Oh, is he just a massive tank slapper then on power? Oh! Oh, it's a try for a power for Cole. That's big. Oh no. He can't. Oh, it's, uh, he, he can it's serve it right now. Which he does. Oh, that is, that is a disaster. Oh, and Despair and Thanos are battling. Battling hard into the final corner. Despair's is lagging. Oh, and Despair's like... in an awful final turn. He's gone way, way deep. And just finally in the pits as well. And Darren's actually taken it. Darren. Darren's up to a podium position here. Yeah, just spares are lagging, just let you know. I'm just going for the hards. Not the soft. So, Thanos is on in second obviously now, now Cole's pit. Bradford up to fifth. Um, Hunt is now pit. He's going to come out in eighth position onto the hards compound tyres. I have paper stream pits as well, but it will come out in. He might go into soft too. At the stream. There's actually a double stack at Haas. That's gonna cost him a bit of time. And Skyline was doing a stint on the softs, which is gone. No, he got it on the mediums as well. Looks like no one He's on the mediums the now, but he was on the softs before. Kiz Bo's in the points. Oh my god. <laughs> Kiz is actually in the points. <laughs> for the first time. There's a real battle for second going on now between Darren Thanos. And the spares there as well. On board with the final player, I mean, now. His connection is sorted itself out, actually. Yeah. Oh, sorry Look at the closing speed, he's going for the lunge! Ooh! Think special of it. 
because that gap was always closing. But that's really thrown away his opportunity of a chance into turn one, I feel. Oh, Darren's on the charge. Recognised there wasn't any room there, and he, he, he plays it smart, takes to the grass, loses a bit of time, but he can live to fight another day. These guys are fighting hard, and despair is slowly, slowly closing in on this battle. You need to be careful here, because Bradford's only three seconds behind. He's starting to close in the gap. Cole is only six seconds behind him. He was quick the entire race, so if they continue the battling, you know, might be, might have a big train here. Big train, but it's, it's the old Thanos train yet again that Despair is all too familiar, familiar with as Darren has an awful, awful turn eight, I think, goes way, way deep, and that has allowed Despair to close That's right up. up from Darren. That McCarran. And in that attempt through that, got Slipstream. They both have DRS, but. I have to say Despair might be the driver to be having a look at. Um, and actually, just Darren, they're both harvesting, they're not deploying energy. Despair has a lunge though. Has the ball! They make contact. Tired to tie, no damage done, but I don't think Darren was expecting the lunge from, from Despair there. Darren holds onto the inside line though, and lifts, uh, lifts the fight another day, but this is all giving Thanos a bit of breathing room there in second position. See, just, I don't think Thanos is really winning much wing at all on that car. Because Darren and uh, Despair, as we saw earlier, so much faster in the corners, but they do, they're struggling to compare with him in the straight lines. You make contact. Killing's Darren just does. 11 seconds ahead, he's just doing what he does best. But Not yeah, as soon as Cole got that penalty, it was a cruise to the finish for Killian. Darren's got to calm down a little bit now. I and mean, that's a massive call for him. He's got himself a penalty there. And he's let to spare through. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. He's, he, yeah, I think he just need. It's a shame because he has the pace there. And I think. He's got a bit six of time. seconds as well. That's not even enough to keep the peace. Balance doesn't have any time penalties. This bear's got three seconds. It's a shame, I think he's, good, he's seeing a sort of Brad's red got mist. Some as well. he's, he's just going for every move. Brad's got one as well. Phoenix doesn't have any, by the way, so he could easily get Phoenix fourth. Phoenix up a lot of positions here. Yeah. Darren, Darren's getting messy here. And it's, it's not even like dirty driving, it's just he sees a gap and he just sends it, even though a move is highly unlikely. And even though it's very entertaining to watch, but he's losing time. He loses time by doing that, and you can see he's all dropped back seven temps, almost six temps, to despair ahead. I think that may have it's thrown away any hope of a podium here for him. Well, definitely thrown away a podium with those penalties. There now, he's just got, he's got to keep an eye out for Darren behind, but he's going to really want to get that red ball between him and that McLaren. This has got paper stream behind her. Battle for tents. Oh my god, Kiz is about to lap Skyline. <laughs> He's not going to hear the end of that. Despair. Oh, there's contact in the second position. Um, Despair goes, gets pushed off wide. It's fair. Fair racing. Um, Thanos had the inside line. It was his corner. 
to dictate the spare had to take to the Aston to the runoff there momentarily but he's get back again Darren Darren's having a look these guys are fighting hard for the second position on track Oh, and um, Despair actually had a bit of a tank slap. And that's oh. a lot of contact there. Darren, 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 you need to calm down, my friend. Oh, and they're making contact again, and, oh. and Despair's gone round. That's not I said, good. I've said it before. Moment really before, places, Darren. He's not only going to get a podium, I don't think. Oh, that's, that's entirely on Darren. But it's looking good for Thanos now, he's pulling away, 2.5 seconds now. Yeah, Thanos And he still doesn't have oh, any Thanos. penalties. No penalties. And he's got so his second place looks good right penalties. now. Oh, I'm gutted. Gutted for despair. A, a brilliant race for him. Really deserved the podium really could have been fighting for second here today just just a shame it's it's gone the way it has but Cole's actually caught up to Phoenix now and Despair's not too far behind this group either Despair's not fully out of it gonna see because time families are gonna change the standings up a bit there's no penalties the spare is struggling for tyres after that spin, understandably. You can see he's having a bit of a snap over steer. So the oh, tyres, again. tyres have overheated, especially on the surface. And that's obviously heating up the core. Darren's closing in for Thanos. I just pray that he calms down a bit because in, he's been messy. He's been messy in his final few laps. I think he may have some penalties coming his way from the stewards because if I was to spare, I would definitely be launching complaints. And I'm one that. of them, by the way. But yeah. I'm yeah. one of the stewards. From the way I see it, um, to spare has a bit of snap over steering in, in, in mid corner of turn one. Opened up the opportunity for Darren. Darren takes it, fair enough. Uh, there's tie to tie contact there, but that's nothing wrong. Enter, leaving turn three, Despair's then got the inside for that little kink, and, and um, Darren's turned straight into it, spanning round. Paper stream is into the points as well. He started on the hearts, making a bit of a recovery. B16. And obviously, the, the guys on that alternative strategy, on the, on the mediums now. Going to have to pace advantage over the guys on the mediums. Oh, hard soul. That is mixed up. Cole's actually got a very good la uh, exit out of the final corner. It's going to be maybe having a look into turn one. So much more speed, so much more confidence. Goes to the late apex into turn two. I think Phoenix could get a podium here, you know. Uh, Brio, because Brad's got a, po a penalty as well, hasn't he? Has he just got the what? He's got a three second. He's got a three, three second. Three second time all? Ooh. 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 Cole's on the grass. Cole's on the grass. The inside line was there. He wanted to take it. So if both Redford and. Uh, Darren has time balance here. This is a battle for the podium between Phoenix and Cole right now. Yeah. And Despair's still there as well. Despair may just still get his podium. Darren's actually on the back of Thanos, so could yet still be more drama in this race. Oh, Phoenix! Oh, Phoenix! Oh, it's... oh the Despair's round cool. as well! Oh, and he's apparently just retired. retired for that. Safety car! <laughs> the safety car! We have a safety car with three laps to go. Oh, That's interesting. this is going to be so. absolutely tragic for Darren and Brad. The time penalty is going to be tragic. Oh, but, oh no. Cole's going into pits as well. Despair is on the podium. 
Cole Pitts. Cole might not be even be on the podium. Or is Spares he is pitted as well. Spares pit. They should still hold position because Hunter is 18 seconds away. And They've that gone should soft. be safe enough for a safety car and pit stop. Spares has gone off a medium. Yeah, it's a smart surgery from Cole because he doesn't lose any positions here. He's coming out with fresh soft. This will do these or guys know that they're on. They're, they're on track. So Cole's gone to soft. That makes I'm sense. sorry, but a, a fucking safety car at this stage of the race yeah, is pointless, think... in my opinion. Yeah, I don't think we're going to restart it. Because it's going to screw over Darren and Brad. Because well, of the penalties. But, yeah. yeah but you shouldn't be getting penalties then. That's the end of the day, isn't it? Safety car in this lap, so we have two race, uh, two, well, yeah, two laps at racing speed. But well, no, actually, their penalties could be protected here because because Cole and a spare pit, and the safety cars in this lap. But Thanos still does have a oh. drive through. That's another thing. Yeah, oh, Thanos has got a drive. Oh yeah, he's got a. So he's probably out of the podium race here, and Cole is closing he's in like with he's, a soft. He's definitely out so of he might have a good chance here, Cole. If we can close that gap right now, he's on, he's on soft. I think Cole's on the podium now, isn't he? He's definitely on the podium. He's in six yeah. seconds. Hunt could be on the podium. Well, this is going to be an exciting finish. Oh, Despair will be kicking himself if he about pitting. I don't know why, I don't know why you would have wanted to pit. Oh, so we've got one more lap into safety. Oh, and oh, no. oh, oh, no. oh, oh that's, that's not good. Oh. So we're going again. Thanos leads! And Thanos is... He's jumped Obviously Killian. He's at the drive-through. And, um... Brad's Bradford is over... Jumped. Bradford and Darren are fighting. Darren. Yeah, and Cole has lost the end plate. So he's probably out. So he's getting Killian. a chance to be collided with his teammate. Oh, has Killian lost an end plate? Yep. Oh no, it looked like it from the angle I was looking at. Oh, they're still side by side as that McLaren and Mercedes. They're all clean so far. Let's hope they can keep it clean for just these next two laps. I haven't laps. on them hard now. So, Hunt's done Thanos. seven laps on those hards. Bradford's done 13 laps on the hards and Killian and Thanos have done 14 laps on the hards. Killian, I don't. Would, Killian, does he know that the cars around him all have penalties? That is a I good don't think question. He does. It's interesting if he listens to the stream or something. He might know. He might know because ah, uh, they're not allowed to watch stream. They're not allowed, oh, to, watch not the allowed stream. to watch stream. Oh, they're well, not allowed to have But I don't on. think he is. They're allowed it during quali, but that's about it. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's for internet reasons, really. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You ain't got very good internet. Killian really closing up to Thanos. He doesn't need to do this. And Thanos, he's Thanos gonna is get... going to get disqualified. Oh, Bradford's got another penalty. Surely Thanos is going to get disqualified if he's going to finish the race. No, he's going to get a five-second penalty for not... For yeah, but that's a massively effort, decreased penalty, isn't serving. it? Not serving... Yeah, because a drive through in five seconds. And it's actually interesting. We had a few positions in the game, so I don't know what's That's what to... about a 20-odd second penalty. If he's going to swap that for five... I don't know if he can do it like in the last lap and then somehow finish in the box. Could be, could be an interesting well, one. You're no, not you allowed can't. to do that anymore, because really, as Michael Schumacher <laughs> highlighted <laughs> famously back at Silverstone. So we could see like a Killian, Cole, and Hunt pony. Cole is dropping off because he doesn't have an end plate anymore. Oh, and yeah. he's crashed again with Cole. Yeah, collided with Hunt oh. right now. Oh, no, we, no, that's not what we like to see. I suppose it's borderline. What's Keep it calm, you two. Oh, you get fucking podiums big. here. Keep it calm. Getting really elbows out of stuff from despair. There's despair. Despair's gonna slide the from Cole. Just Cole's gone massively off white. He's crashed. Oh, and he's crashed out. That's That's retired good. on purpose. Whether that is allowed as such. 
is um, questionable. Despair could I be on second place here. I don't think that was on here. purpose because he doesn't have an end plate and he just went wide. It just looked oh, like he no, lost the car. Oh, he just went. No, it's and there's Thanos, 20 seconds down in Thanos. Time penalty. Oh god. Oh no, Darren keeps his podium. And DRS is enabled. As King takes the lead, Thanos drops back. Despair just four. misses out on the podium. It was a spin, it was a spin that cost him ultimately. So, Darren Bradford. Uh, they, they cling on to that podium position. It's a great recovery from Darren. Uh, whether His boat gets P7, on... by the way. Oh, yeah. That's our first points this season. Get in there, kids. I'm calling it now. Driver of the day for kids. Just saying. I mean, the results are all. St well, I, I would be very surprised if Darren will not be under investigation after this race. After uh, yeah, incident. I don't want to be in the steward's room after this today. <laughs> <laughs> very Quite heated. A few incidents um, to investigate. I reckon there'll be some words from uh, Cole. <laughs> and who was it? It was Hunt as well, wasn't it? Uh, and I got in the guys. So at it. Bro, I forgot driver of the day, but nope. Bing gets to this. Kiz getting driver of the day. Went from P9 to P3. Nah, Kiz is getting it. <laughs> Kiz is getting it, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I need Killian. Uh, we're just waiting on one more person. Well, you two are free to leave if you want. I can do this bit on my own. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then thank you for the invite. Um, I'll talk to you later, I guess. Um, if... Oh, Ryan, that is. If yes. I need you next week, I'll message you. Oh, no, sir. It's kind of Luke stage. Uh, Lucas Aid hasn't got a very good. His control is fucked at the moment, pretty much. So ah, okay. Um, his headset won't work with his controller. So yeah, if I need you, I'll message you. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. If you've got Discord, uh, I could add you on Twitter and message you to the Discord. Yeah, that sounds and good. And I'll get, yeah, I'll get the owner to put you down as a street as a commentator. Commentator, nice. Um, so. Right. Yeah, sounds sounds good. If you want to know my Twitter, it's SV One Shot on Twitter. So if you just follow me on Twitter, it's I'll message you on there and I'll send you the invite to the Discord. Yeah. Very nice. Or get Kieran to do it because he'll have it. If I can't, so anyway, uh, we'll go go on to the podium interviews. We'll start off with P One. And AMS Killian, that's now the all like what fourth podium in a row. Yep, streak still going strong. Uh, uh <sighs> let's be honest, you kind of dominated the race, really, didn't you? From lap one, you got a great Ooh. start from the start and just walked away with it until like the final few laps. Um, just give us a few words on how it went and your quality as well. Oh. Qualifying, sadly, the streak is now over, but it's still an EMS streak, so it technically still counts in my books. But that's just playing the shit house city cards, probably not. Um, the race didn't expect to get that good a start compared to Cole, who was already in the lead, and then the safety car came out first time, or it was like a VSE or something. That kind of fucked me over a little bit, and then. That one right at the end just completely wiped out any advantage I had. And then coming around the final corner, I'm getting ready to go, and the game's just slowed me. Like, I can't go above a certain speed. It's just stuck me to the safety car limit or something. So I'm getting ready to go, my foot is like fully on my pedal, I'm ready to go. And then it's just like spun me, my tyres have just done a burnout. So it's put me in a half spin, and Andrew's just managed to slide right past. But in my own view, 
he passed me before the start finish line and oh, just he didn't serve his drive through so it should be illegal when the wind should stand in my book he had a 20 second time penalty for not doing it so exactly so yeah. unless he can prove that his delta was green that or something else comes up that win should stand in my book but right now wins a win uh back to back wins it's still fine another championship lead and hopefully it continues to zandvoort but no nah, it's a bit of a mess isn't it? um well i've just been informed that he was green in a delta before the VSC end, before the safety car ended, or VSC ended, whatever it was, and well, well I'm clipping him. We'll review it after the race. We'll review it after the. I'll review it after the race with the stewards. Um. Uh, we'll go on to P two, which is AMS Darren. I think was it Darren? Yeah, I think. I think. I didn't screenshot the results. Fucking idiot. Um, but surely someone else did, which is good. Uh, um, you started quite a few uh, races back. And third. Oh, you started third, didn't you? And you finished second, so you only get in one place. But you had a bit of a her bit of hairy moments in a few segments. <laughs> One. Um, <laughs> uh, pretty much just give us a few words on how uh, the so quality I think it's mainly, mainly like on the first lap but I think, I think it was like the front right just dipped into the grass which then put me behind everyone so when the safety car came out I thought fuck this I'm going in for fresh set mediums and then try and overcut up but like the Phoenix and Brad who was ahead of me well I did come in and then I'm not sure if what happened on my screen with the spares actually happened because of like we were side by side I think it was like turn three like the I wouldn't really call it a turn but we were side by side and then I came out the throttle let him go and he just didn't and then next thing he's in a barrier so he was like an incredible amount that race so that yeah. might not have been you. No, see, you think Brad Nip Patley nearly got past that safety car restart from what happened to Killian. And just that he stopped us while Brad just could carry all that speed. I just didn't want uh, what happened uh, with you in despair because I noticed he spun. And I was like, I don't want to repeat. I want a podium. Well, on on one of the safety car restarts, see going around the snail bit in sector three before the long straight, that right hander, it slowed me down. Like I was fully on the pedal, and my telemetry was just saying I was moving. Like there was no input, but it was, and I couldn't go any faster. It just limited me again. So <laughs> if that caused anything, I do apologise. But it, not my fault. The game shit. So uh, I think on that one, that's how Hunt got past me. Literally, I was going. Bit you right behind someone, and then get limited. Then hunts past me. And <sighs> uh, my headset's just died. Lovely. <laughs> Good tonight. <laughs> or about to die anyway. Uh, it's gonna be going to bad then. <laughs> <laughs> Before um, it does. Yeah. Uh, I've just stuck on charge. Uh, P three. Bradford, you didn't have the best quality, did you, really? Let's be honest. Uh, or was that your strategy from the start? That um, was not my strategy. No, it wasn't. I had, everyone uh, was like, you're a sandbag. I was like, I wish I could tell you I was, but I wasn't. Uh, but uh, just give us a few words on how, it, how the race went. It went satisfactory. Um... Uh, ran my own race. Um, the hards seem to work better than the mediums for me. So yeah, that's how I'm 
able to jump Darren. I just they just started working. I was like, mm, I see what I can do. Um, I was consistent uh, the whole race uh, with my times. Um, and then got to the safety car on literally the final lap. It should not have been a safety car due to how many laps were left. VSC would have been alright. But safety car out for not even a whole lap is a little bit stupid. I especially with it saying... Things. Especially with it saying safety car in this lap at the hairpin. Because that just didn't give anyone enough time to slow down and set ourselves up for literally a quali lap. Um, I just tried to stay on the back of everyone and see who had more penalties than me. And the answer was literally no one. So I hope to, yeah, I hope to keep P3. Um, is I felt like I kind of deserved it after what happened. Um, but yeah, keeping some type of streak going, but it's not anything to say, yeah. So, yeah, on to Zanvor. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> that Sorry, was the I'm coronavirus really GP. Chat, it's just... yeah. God damn it! it felt you know like we're gonna get demonetized right now for race. YouTube, right? I couldn't care less. Um, that's the coronavirus GP. Everyone probably caught it. Um, see you next week for Zanvor. Yep. <laughs> for the Junkie Drum um, GP. Yep, that um, one. Yeah, we will see yep. you on Wednesday for the uh, Zanvor press conference. Don't know who I'm gonna interview yet, but I'll decide tomorrow. Uh. <laughs> And and then next Monday will be the Zanvort GP. And till then, uh, goodbye.